Hello everybody and welcome back to the Legendary Edition series that I am doing and the Mass Effect 3 installment which is giving me heart palpitations. <laughs> I am I am sort of terrified, I'm not sure I'm ready to be emotionally devastated. This game packs a wallop, at least for me, it did for me when I very first played it. This game also has a very special place in my heart because it is the first game I played on this channel. Uh, I know it's kind of weird to start with the third one in a series, um, but as I've said before, I think a few times, um, I started this channel initially as an anthropology uh, course, uh, require not a requirement, but like a project. Um, for an anthropology course, which was kind of an excuse. I'd kind of been looking into doing Let's Plays and stuff anyway, because I thought it was cool, and I hadn't seen a lot of people doing them how I would do them, y you know, not necessarily. And so I was like, well, if I can't find it, I'll make it myself, <laughs> you know? And so, so I did, and here I am, what, like seven years later? I should have looked that up. <laughs> how long has it been since I graduated? A freaking long time. It has actually been a really hecking long time. Let me actually look and see if I can find it. So I should have checked before I started the video since it's all the Mass Effect, the full cycle of like Mass Effect 3 for me. But I did join this, I made the YouTube channel on August 6, 2014. So it has been just over eight years since I started this channel with Mass Effect 3 in particular. Um, and that recording, if anybody's watched, I know a lot of people have actually watched it. Um, that whole series was plagued with technical issues, with me trying to figure out what I wanted to do, how to do it. I was looking up guides and like, you know, I was looking up what equipment to get and I was constantly having issues and like audio desyncs constantly. And I'm just, there's there's somebody actually who's been commenting again recently, Cheesy Beard Pirate, shout out to Cheesy Beard Pirate, who I believe you were the, I, I could be wrong, but I believe you were the first person to comment on, ever on my Mass Effect 3 videos. I could be totally wrong, um, but I know you've been with the channel for a very long time, and you just, like, every now and then, every few years, I feel like you'll come in and say hi on, in the comments, and I really appreciate that you sticking around, despite, I'm sure, a lot of changes changes in the last eight years, so I'm gonna get emotional now, <laughs> but like, um, there's been a lot of changes for everybody, right? But, um, yeah, so, <laughs> not just now I'm, now I'm gonna go down memory lane completely, but yeah, so this series will always have a special place in my heart because of the people who, who stuck with me through that, through all the trials and tribulations of, um, freaking all the technical issues and I just realized just now and I can't point to it here I can't actually hear I just realized that this visor changes depending on which one you've got selected because I was like oh that looks just like the I was like the the freaking the that look, the meteors just just like the ones falling here and then I was like no way <laughs> yep it changes that's actually really cool <laughs> it's just starting Mass Effect 3 and just noticing that but I did want to say Thank you to everybody who's also stuck through with the Legendary Edition. Um, I realize I've been very sporadic, especially in the last year uh, with me being nomadic. Um, it's very difficult for me to record, and it's very difficult for me to get videos uploaded and to edit them in a timely manner. Uh, so uh, I appreciate those few of you who've decided to support me on Patreon. Uh, and again, that is obviously no obligation, and anything extra you send my way just helps me be in a little nomadic turtle running around with my house on my back, you know what I mean? Um, and my sister is kind enough to let me come to her place and record whenever I feel like it, you know, I just don't want to take advantage of that too much, you know? Um, so, and I, you know, I want to go out and explore, I want to go out and see the sights, I want to see the country, I want to see, I want to see the deserts and the mountains and stuff, and I, I, I love doing that, and I love my job. But um, I do miss getting to play video games on a regular basis and, and chatting with you guys and being able to record a little more regularly, even though I've never been able to upload regularly. Anyway, this turned into a bit of a retrospective. I, might, I remember, man, I remember my very first video. It's going to be a bit retrospective. <laughs> the very first video of Mass Effect 3, I specifically didn't want to sound like a super chirpy girl. I was like, I didn't want to be... Kind of that, like, maybe, I guess, a little internalized misogyny, but I didn't want to sound like that gamer girl stereotype. 
um, of like, hey, how's it going? You know, like, you know, which if you make money doing that, power to you, I guess. But like, it's not my style. It's not the way I like to, I don't watch that kind of stuff. I don't like it, you know, <laughs> for me personally. And so I desperately didn't want to sound like that. And, and so I purposely made my voice sound deeper and I tried to speak a little slower. And I remember, I go back and I, even when I first recorded it and listened to it, I was like, oh. <laughs> And that was back when I was using Movie Maker to edit my videos. I use Adobe Premiere now, but I, use, I was using Movie Maker. And I was trying to use a mic that was like attached to a headset and like, which is a bad idea also. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just remember like, it, I didn't do the deep voice thing or deeper voice. I wasn't like speaking like, hello, but like I was, I was like, I was like, hello and welcome or something and I did I spoke deeper and, and it was distinctly different from my normal voice um, and I was just trying to be chill you know and that didn't last for very long <laughs> not a mass factory but anyway I don't know it just it feels a lot a lot has changed in the last eight years and I appreciate those who have just you know visited and come and gone life takes you a wild array of places and I appreciate the people who've managed to stop back in and say hi and the people who've stuck with me so um, anyway I wasn't planning on oh, I wasn't planning on tearing up this early but just wanted to say thank you all so much for your support um, and uh, welcome to the game that makes me cry really hard and laugh really hard so if that does make you uncomfortable um, be warned, I do cry a lot in this one. At least I did in the past. Um, and I guess really quick as a, was it the disclaimer? So I have played through this once fully all the way. I started it, my very first time I started it with the male shepherd, I played through one and two with a male shepherd because again, I was like, it's a man in the box or why would it be a woman, you know, which was just eight years ago, dumb me, you know? Um, now I play a woman whenever I get the chance. Um, but yeah, so I played through as a man, but I mentioned before that I met Thane, and I was like, mm, and I started Mass Effect 3, and I was like, blah, and then I was like, I got to the Palavin's Moon, which is technically, if you count the initial start of the game where everything goes to crap, that's maybe Mission 1, Mission 2 is Mars, Mission 3 is Palavin's Moon, that's Turian's Moon. Um... I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. And I got to that, and I was playing a sniper, and I was getting absolutely wrecked by the new type of husks they had. But also, I was like, I was playing an infiltrator, but I was like, I want a romance thing. So I started all the way over, and I played through one, two, and three with a, with a, with a femship. And I mean, I was, I got through three, and it was fine. And I, I would swear that's the only times I've ever played or touched Mass Effect 3. But apparently on my channel, there is a Mass Effect 3 series that's like 40 videos long that I have almost no recollection of doing. I obviously did it, but I do not know like exactly when I did it. I could look at the dates, I guess, but I don't I don't remember doing it. And I got like 40 videos in. I don't. I need to check. I don't even know if it was like a live stream or what. But apparently I started it a third time and I have no recollection of that. <laughs> and... So, yes, but this will be technically my fourth time starting it, but my second time finishing it. Anyway, with all that out of the way, the reason I'm on this screen is because I'm not actually 100% sure if Mass Effect 3 starts out with, like, it, like immediately drops you into a, a cutscene or anything. So, uh, I'm also stalling. Uh, well, if you're ready to be emotionally devastated, to laugh and to cry with me, come along for the ride. Let's go see how this goes. <laughs> also, the, the freaking what looks like meteors falling down in the art and in that video. I remember just being, oh, Joe Gall, I remember being devastated by that. You think these are like meteors and stuff, but you look closely, they're actually satellites. And it's just, well, I remember first opening this and thinking it was just like, thinking it was just like artistic you know like woo st shooting stars or meteors and then you like but you see the impacts and stuff and I was still just like nah I don't know I don't remember exactly what I was thinking but I remember I remember figuring it out in the screen being like wait this is debris this is debris falling from space from satellites and ships in orbit because we're under attack <laughs> oh oh Boy, let's go. I forget this kept the Mass Effect 2 
like a menu screen. New game, import ME2 character. Raven Shepherd, excellent, excellent. Let's go, baby. Import, save the Arachnite Queen. Okay, 60 hours. Like, wow, I was looking at the bottom number. I was like, 15 hours. Save the Ragnite Queen. So let's do a quick recap. Uh, I rescued Kate and Elenko on Vermeer. Chose to save the council. Destroyed Malan's data. Kept Rex alive on Vermeer. Chose to destroy the Geth heretics. Destroyed the collector base. Survived the suicide mission with 12 squad mates. Romance Kaden before Mass Effect 2. Romance Thane in Mass Effect 2. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay. So it hasn't really changed. That's good. I figured they would they were keeping it mostly the same. I do think it almost looks she almost looks a little different. Her face almost looks a little shorter. I think I'm going to just keep it though. I don't want I don't want to mess with her. Yeah, she's fine. Uh, shall we play Vanguard? I have- I always enjoy Vanguard. And I have been doing sort of a Vanguard purist run. Infiltrator is hard mode in my opinion. You got freaking- especially in the freaking third mission on the Pelvin's Moon, like, oh, The game is not set up, in my opinion, for- to be a sniper. It's just- it's just not. Mass Effect 1 is a little easier when you're on the open planet stuff, like in the open world. Um which I did experiment with a little bit in this in this legendary playthrough was I got a sniper and I started sniping people from like 500 yards away. But um, yeah, a sniper rifle isn't very useful in my opinion in close, like obviously in close quarters combat, which happens a lot or in hallways. Uh, but they have the disruptor ammo, cryo ammo, incendiary tactical cloak, sticky grenade, sabotage, combat specialists. Boring, but solid. Sentinel. I have, have I enjoyed, I think I have enjoyed Sentinel. No. I think I did Engineer. I did Engineer in Mass Effect 2 and really enjoyed it. I might have done it in 3, but I know for sure I enjoyed Vanguard I think is the best in 3, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that. It's near ammo. Nova, that's right, you get Nova in this one. Shockwave and pull. Yeah, Vanguard. Earthborn. War hero, vanguard. That's me. Huh, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. Oh my gosh. Everything's led to this. To this game. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Yep. I realize it sounded like the ravings of a mad woman, but hey, you know. And like, it was so wild to me to finally see them, you know? Like, you saw the one, right? You see Sovereign in Mass Effect 1. You don't see them in Mass Effect 2 at all. And the whole time you're like, oh, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep them at bay, blah, blah, blah. But you do your best. And this is, um... Stupid little kid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no. I actually don't go super deep into the lore, so I'm not... I've got no hard feelings. Commander. No! Oh! You're not supposed to call me that anymore, Subtitles. Not supposed to salute you, either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds oh my important. gosh, this game is so beautiful. I'm sorry, I don't know how to do subtitles What's going yet. On? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Dad! Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. 
Maybe a little soft around the edges. I know. I'm relieved from duty. It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense. No, committee. we don't have time Unless for committees. The Reapers to death. The committee is a waste yeah. of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. <laughs> when you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help James us stop James Vega them. is like trying so hard to pretend he's not eavesdropping. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson. Ah! <laughs> Shepard. Hi. Caden. How'd it go in there, baby? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No, I hadn't. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... Well... Yeah, well, I don't know if you guys potentially remember because it's been a long time, but our last meeting in Mass Effect 2, we didn't necessarily part on good terms. That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Caden. Yeah, me too. Admiral? Come on. Don't give me that. Sm don't don't get don't be tempted. You know the commander? I used to. Don't don't talk like that. Oh my gosh. She still gives me heart flutters even when I want to kick him in the teeth. This game is gorgeous too. Holy cow, it looks so good. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping I've you would tell us. I've been in lockdown! I've been under house arrest! The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already yep. know. The Reapers are here. I mean, what do you what do you want me to say? Like, oh, I'm sure it's something else. Then, how do we stop them? Uh, we should have been preparing for the last stop. like two years. This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us, and they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. Yeah, pre prepping for the last two years would have been good, but no, now, I mean, I get it, like, politically speaking, like, I, like, even eight years ago, I was like, how could nobody believe her? And now I'm like, no, I see it, you know, we'll be staring global climate disaster in the face and nobody's really doing anything, except for a few people are trying, right? But, like, none of the major powers who could actually do anything. And we're just all staring it in the face like, well, and then one day it'll all blow up and all the mm, insanely rich people will go to the moon and <laughs> we'll be stuck here to pick up the pieces, which, good riddance, honestly. Uh... If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? You put me under house arrest! Admiral, we've lost Two years! The moon. The moon. The moon. It couldn't be that close. They didn't listen to me! How'd they get past our defenses? Yeah, well! Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. Bye, London. It's nice knowing you. Yep. Well, oh, 
I'm terrified, honestly, that noise. Like, it's not even a space battle. They just came straight to the planet, you know? Like, they just plowed through everything. They're just in the cities. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? Run! Run! The only thing we can. We fight or we yeah, die. It will run first! And regroup! We should get to the Normandy. Yeah, well, uh, since they're in London, did you really think they wouldn't get here? Like, immediately? Like, they didn't just all land in London. There's a bunch of them. They're like, pop, 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 pop. I'm not ready. <sighs> Shepard! 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 Come on, get up. Here, take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. We report it anyway. Major Alanko, is that you? What's well, your status? there's Alliance High Command out. Plot armor, though. You'll have to contact. We'll meet you at the landing. Call. They're in the cities. They're just. They're just. And what's so terrible is like I think part of the reason this game is really emotionally devastating is like I don't know. There's, there would be people out there, you know. Ugh. Come on. I'm already having a hard time. There's people out there. They're dying. Let's move. Oh, I forget you can roll. That nice. Take a running jump. It's harder than it looks. Thanks, Dad. <clears throat> this is, uh, I think, the, which, this is Montreal, by Come the on, way. Let's go. Uh, for those of you who don't know, which is where Bioware uh, <laughs> is. Uh, well, they have, a, I think, they have an Austin studio too, but they do. Have, they have an Come office on. in Montreal, which is we'll the Mass Effect office, I believe. Looks clear, let's go. Uh. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Fenton. I can't more take care of We're about five minutes out. Uh. Say again. Major. Futuristic Damn. Montreal. Come on, we gotta move. And there's, like... Like, it feels so close. Like, it feels like it's gonna walk on me if I just, if I stood here, it would just keep going. I feel like it could see me. I, it, I just, I... The scale of this thing... It is! It's walking forward! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. The bloom, too? Oh, the worm is the worst. Wait, no, what? Who? No! Not us! Shoot him! I'm out of ammo! Come on, we gotta move! Oh, jeez! Uh. Oh, are we dropping? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, wait, do I have my powers? Okay. I have to take these things out the old fashioned way. Oh, okay. No, uh, ammo. Uh, beta melee. Oh, I forget! Don't it's an that. omni melee! <laughs> it... Oh, no, wait, no. There is a. The, the, we use the omni tools like a sword. Dad? Okay. Ah, oh, we're using the Omni tools like a sword find a way out of here. in this one, which is cool. Alright, let's do it. I'm trying to... how do you crouch? Watch it! 
Oh, hold B to heavy melee. That's what it is. Ooh, with my vanguard powers. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Wait, wait. Oh, so I did do it with, um, I think we, oh, no, you use your Omni tool in this one. Maybe it's an engineer thing. Because my, it looks like the vanguard's using, um, bot powers. Let me in. Through this way. Go, Dad, go. I'm about to have the manifestation of my psychological trauma up here. Hey! It's okay. Everyone's dying! <gasps> Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. In what world Shepherd. would a kid actually yeah. say that <laughs> in this situation? Although, to be fair, depending on what the kid's seen, they might think that this is a safer spot. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to leave a safe spot or your home, you know? I could see it. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Yeah, you friggin' tell me. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. Notice Anderson's it's not fast. in but we have more time. councilman gear. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. Are you sure about that? No, but you're a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. He gave up the position to gotcha. Adina. <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. <laughs> <laughs> Grab some ammo. <laughs> More than one. I'm like, you're right. Reload. Let's keep moving. You're right. You're right. Ah, uh, but yeah, he did. He gave up the position because he was sick. He felt like he couldn't do anything as a politician because nobody listened to him. Oh, Major Alenko. Uh, uh, oh, jeez. Three minutes. Made it to the Normandy. Taking heavy fire. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Major! Okay! Damn it, they're in trouble! I'm, I'm trying to. Oh. Yeah. The Mass Effect 4 just exploded planet side. We have a dreadnought. They're, they're trying to get people out. We should have had, like, evacuation procedures in place, you know? Come in! Like, that's the thing, is like, we should have had a plan to get civilians out. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. I'm not ready! No! Now, also, Mass Effect 3 introduces husk variants. Nice stuff. Also, guess what cannibals do? Yeah, they eat. They eat their dead to uh, to, to gain health back. It's super great. Super love that for us. I don't think my health regens either in this one. Uh, it will regen. I think if you lose like half a bar, it will regen that bar. But I can't get the bars back once I've lost one. Finish them all. Dead? Okay. Don't do it. Don't eat your dead. Don't eat your dead. Shepard, over here. Do they just die when I pick them up? Because that's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No, there's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. 
Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. Oh, his leg was under that? Come on. Ugh. Let's get to that gun Blah. Blah. Ah, uh, that is. That was the. Ah, there's those too. We don't see those yet for a minute. I think, like, actually have to interact with them. Now I can get healed. Yes. No. Maybe, oh, maybe I have to use my health. I don't know. Hopefully, to teach me how to use my health at some point. Also, I need to use mouse and keyboard for these shenanigans. Although, if. No, I did not actually mean to do that. I'm not wearing armor right now, but that was very satisfying. If that's how it's gonna work, if my visibility is just gonna just gonna explode things on impact, that's great for me. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I just got us slamming into things. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Nope, did not mean to do that either. Are we done? Oh, jeez. Oh, not done. You're just chilling there. Okay. How do I, how do I heal? Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, now I can pick up the health back. Ooh, the assault rifle. Very nice. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Joker. What's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major. Also, why is it, why is Caden on my Off ship? Let me ask. Let's hope that beacon does it. Oh, job. dang it. And fast, we've got company. I forgot subtitles. Yeah, yeah if you can see their eyes, they're Vegetarians. Uh, let's see, what's it under? I have no idea. Uh, graphics. Dang it! I should have changed it to, um... I can't... I don't know when, you would have, when I would have changed it. Advanced gameplay. Let's try hardcore for a while. We'll see how it goes. I can't remember when you have to, uh... When you have to change it to get, like, the achievements for hard hard mode or whatever. It was probably like as soon as I had the option to change it, but I forgot.
freaking, it's in gameplay. I was like, I was looking at hardcore, but I didn't look at the rest of it. I was like, where is it? I was like going through every single one meticulously. Like, where the heck is it? Conversation modes, yes. Obviously, yes, yes, yes. All right, now we have subtitles. Uh, do not just send me throwing myself. Oh yeah, I gotta use the friggin'. Oh, and I should put. Can I not, man? Oh, he's got. I was like, I swear one of them had a. I swear at the beginning I could use the impact shot, and I can. Is it? Take damage over time? Impact shot, very satisfying. Take fire damage. Soon. Being aggressive. Know how freaking what's his name? Doesn't seem to care. It's just standing in the open. Oh, out of ammo, unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking to see if there was ammo. I should have just looked with my eyes. <laughs> let's see, let's see how long we're gonna do this. I don't wanna yeet myself out there. You know? I guess I could always switch to the pistol too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so. You and me both! Look how I wanted to hit that one. Satisfying. I did switch ammo. What? I, I have to press X? Oh my gosh. I just, so why can't I just click on it, you know? Oh, there we go. I see, I see. It. Gosh, finally, thank you. Don't don't throw missiles freaking right in front of me. It's my baby! Oh, <laughs> Look at Let's go! She's so beautiful, actually. I'm gonna cry. <clears throat> oh, that ship has been through so much. Also, I didn't get permission for Kane to be on my ship. <laughs> Come on. Welcome aboard, Shepard. Thanks. Come on, Anderson. 
Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they I'm need a leader. Staying. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated. Commander. He just You know what you have to do. He just had that on hand. I'll be back for you and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. He's not wrong. Like somebody needs to lead the people that are left, like the resistance on Earth. But I don't like leaving him there. <laughs> I think it is, it, it cannot understate the relationship between Shepard and Anderson, like he really is one of the most important people in her life, you know? Oh, a new machine, awesome, yeah, that's another one. Psychological Trauma 2, Electric Boogaloo, let's go. Also does a very good job, I feel, for me personally, at giving Shep a bit more personality. Some people felt like her personality was a little too much out of their hands, but how else would you expect a person to react to their planet being pulled apart, you know? And like the stress and the pressure of, of seeing everything she has to see. I feel like you see a bit more of her having a very difficult time psychologically. This is where you see the starting screen. All our ships fall to Earth. Woo! <laughs> I told you guys, I'm going to be very emotional about all of this. Well, there's that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me already tearing up uh, in this episode like eight times. It's going to be a super good time. Uh, I did have to cut the episode a little bit short because the be especially the beginning of this game just kind of grabs you by the horns and yanks you through cutscenes and it's really difficult to find a stopping point. But uh, I did want to get that first mission done where, where, you know, the whole Earth, like leaving Earth type thing. So... Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for waiting for this series. I appreciate it a lot. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I realized the intro at the beginning was super duper long, but I appreciate you uh, at least watching the main video. So <laughs> thank you guys again. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Kalita, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. I hope you're ready. Buckle up for your first time seeing Mass Effect 3. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> so thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.